All right, all right, I am a potato farmer and today I am showing you what a day in the life looks like. So we are washing three semi-truck loads of russet potatoes today. They come off the back of the truck just like this. Each truck has a conveyor belt, so it's nice and easy. After the first rinse, they go up this conveyor belt here. You will see some rocks and dirt in it, but not anymore because this is called the destoner. What it is is basically the stones and the rocks sink and thanks to this propeller here, which is a homemade propeller. We are quite proud of it. The potatoes float to the top and go on this conveyor belt into our veg polisher. Now, somebody once told me that was their nickname in high school, little concerning, but basically what the veg polisher is, is a bunch of brushes that go around and scrub the potatoes and they pile on out. This just reminds me of what it's like when I go to the city, absolutely hate it. Then goes on a ride up the conveyor belt and here's a quick fit check. Cannot wait to shave that mustache. Next, the potatoes go through this drying tunnel and then they go to the one, the only, the famous Drop Kicker 5000, which is a fan favorite. That potato totally biffed it. However, the Drop Kicker 5000 is not very good at sorting out russets. It can't see a lot of the diseases, but essentially what this machine does is it has two sets of cameras and it boots or tries to boot at least the bad potatoes. However, today we are needing to resort to good old hand grading potatoes, bring us back to the day. So right here, we are pulling out all the potatoes that have rot or mechanical damages. And then they are going to this, well, mechanical sizer here. What this does is it separates the potatoes into three different sizes. And then from there, we are able to grade them. You'll see it doesn't do the best job, this guy. He is just grabbing out the smaller ones from the medium size and they get another hand grade. Now these potatoes are all going into these macro bins. They each weigh 1100 pounds. And then from there, we put them in our storage where they can cool off, they dry off, and we can store them in here actually for a month or two before we need to get rid of them. Of course, I need to do a taste test. They taste good. Now today we have to pack 2,500 of these 20 pound boxes, which is quite a large order. And here's how it goes. We dump these macro bins into this hopper here, which in turn injects into our line where we do another grading of the potatoes. Now these potatoes, we are looking for green spots because green potatoes are poisonous. We are looking for any damages or anything that makes it look not aesthetically pretty because this is going to a larger retailer and it has to look perfect. That's just the reality that we live in these days. Our potatoes need to look perfect. Do not threat the potatoes that we can't sell. We try to donate as much to food banks and cow feed, but each box individually gets weighed. We have to make sure it's 20 pounds. I found this one potato here. It had the smallest little green spot on it. I have no idea how that comes out of the ground and turns green, but I'm going to rescue it and possibly even cook it up tonight to show you that they're still tasty. So behind me are all our call potatoes. These are the potatoes that we've graded out over the last day and a bit. And what you'll see is a lot of the potatoes are definitely not edible for human consumption. They're rotten. The cows still love them. However, a lot of the potatoes are just weird sizing. And so we try to donate as much as we can to the food banks of those, but it takes a lot of time to regrade out all the rotten ones and pull the ones that are just questionable. But that's something our farm is trying to change the way North Americans look at food. Just because a potato is ugly does not mean it's not nutritious and delicious. Okay, now we are in the squash barn and we are gonna check out how the spaghetti is looking. This is our squash machine and we actually imported it from Portugal last year. It is a one of a kind machine that we custom built where it dumps these macro bins of squash onto this conveyor belt here where we pull out the rotten ones before it goes to the washing machine. This machine does a really good job of scrubbing up the squash and taking out most of the dirt. On the other end of the washer is another inspection table. I love finding rotten squash. It is so much fun to throw. Imagine doing this to an ex's house, so satisfying. <laughs> Spaghetti squash, as time goes on in storage, it gets more of the scarring here on it. So it doesn't look as beautiful, but it's still edible. However, it's a lot harder to sell these. So we're gonna be donating these ones to the food bank. We just got this pallet back to us. It was actually rejected because apparently the squash was too dirty. So let's take a look and see what the squash actually looks like that got rejected. This first box of squash looks fine. It actually looks immaculate, really. So let's open up a few more boxes and see. This next box definitely had some dirt on it. We should have done a better job scrubbing up this box. 
so I can understand at least a little bit more. Next, I am off to my grandpa and grandma's place for lunch. Every Thursday, I go there and have the best meal of the week by far, and I get to enjoy some time with my cousin and my nephews. Yep. Oh, that's a nice looking potato, Addy. I want you, Tyler, to clean that plate and lick the spoon. It's clean. It isn't. There's a lot on there. Oh, man. If you were in a third world country, you'd be licking it with your tongue. After lunch, I helped grade potatoes because we still had to pack all those box orders. Shout out to all the horse girls out there. And this potato, I have no idea what this potato is, but how does it even grow like this? Imagine finding a submarine potato in your baked potatoes. How stoked would that make you? So here's just an example of some of the potatoes that we're throwing out. Personally, today I threw out about seven full bins of potatoes. Hey, if you're not subscribed, you should be. <laughs> Sorry. After finally packing all 2,500 boxes, it's time to pack some of my own orders for my company, 10 Servings. This is our sweater here. It's definitely our most popular seller, but sorry, it's basically sold out. As I mentioned, our farm is trying to make a difference in reducing on-farm food waste. And this is one of our answers is really just spreading conversation around eating ugly potatoes. I do really need help in folding. So sorry if you've ordered and it has been folded perfectly. I am, I am learning. And I told you that I was gonna cut up this potato here. Look, you can hardly even see the green in it. It's amazing, there's a hair on it. It's amazing that we would have to waste a potato as good as this. And my favorite way of cooking up potatoes is just in the air fryer. Toss it in there for 20 minutes, cubed up with some spices, and here's what it looks like. Double the mashed potatoes with some shepherd's pie. You really can't go wrong. And today is the last day of November. Hallelujah, I can shave this thing. Our November team raised over $1,500 for men's mental health. So thank you for supporting. Let me know if you like this type of vlog. I would love to do a few more.